you sign a movement out there? <sighs> nah, nah, man. It's pitch black and I don't hear a sound. It's eerie, man. It's like we're the last people on Earth. Oh, that'd be scary. Damn, what if... What if the avalanche wiped out the whole town? We might have hit this ski lodge, but... The whole town? Oh, ah, yeah. no, man. Come on now. Look, Teresa and Whitney have freaked out enough without us talking like the world is coming to an end, huh? Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe... We can do something to cheer him up. You could probably do something for Teresa. But, uh, there ain't nothing I could ever do to put a smile on Whitney's face. I'll spend the rest of my life with a broken heart. No, you won't, Teresa. I won't let you. You heard what I said? Teresa, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but... But I couldn't help from overhearing. And that is not true. You deserve to be happy. You are very special. I've never met anyone like you. Really? I was, uh, I was just telling Whitney that uh, fate has a way of stepping in at the right time when things just couldn't be any worse. Well, and I don't know anything about fate, but... If this Chuck is so blind he can't see how beautiful you are and too stupid to realize how lucky he is to be loved by you, then someone more deserving will come along and does. Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. You don't have to say those things. To but me. it's true, Teresa. You are very special. You are beautiful and smart and warm and loving. You are all that and more. If you can see those things in me... Why can't my one true love? Because he's an idiot. He's not an idiot, Ethan. You don't understand. Um, you know, Ethan, I think you're bringing up some, um, bad feelings. Maybe you should leave her alone for a little while. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make things worse. I didn't mean to upset you, Teresa. Well, I didn't help. And I think I've made her feel worse. And I'd get anything to make her smile. You sure you ain't got any clue at all as to what could possibly make Teresa smile? I don't know. Unless I could, you know, convince Chuck to change his mind and get back with her. Chuck? Oh, oh that's the guy who's supposed to... Oh. Well, he don't sound too, uh... bright. Well, he's not. He can't see what he's lost. I mean, how could a guy not see what's right in front of his face? That Teresa is a beautiful person inside and out. Yeah, well, people don't always see what's staring them right in the face, you know? That's just how it is, I guess. And you ain't gotta like it, I ain't gotta like it, but we gotta accept it. And that's one lesson I learned the hard way. Ethan, correct me if I'm wrong, man, but you really care a lot about Teresa, right? I mean, you know, seeing that she feels better is something really important to you. I mean, I don't know, but yes, it is. I mean, it gets me down to see Teresa like this. And I know it sounds kind of strange, but I kind of feel responsible. You know, I mean, I went in and talked to her. Like I said, it didn't help. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes, sometimes words just... That ain't enough to make a girl feel better, you know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes you just, you need action, you know what I mean? You need to do something for her, or go out of your way to, to make her feel special, to make them feel important. You know, you know what we need to do? We just need to find a way to, 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 to make them like... Right. You know, I've always heard the most important trait a woman looks for in a guy is a good sense of humor. You got it, man. Yo, girls love a guy that can make them laugh, man, and feel sexy at the same time. You know what I'm saying? That's a tall order. You know, there's got to be something. Chad, Chad, I have an idea. What? I really want to do this, but... Are you willing to make a fool of yourself? Ah, uh, why not, man? 
Yo, it wouldn't be the first time I made a fool of myself for a woman. Great. Teresa, Whitney, uh, can you guys come out here? Uh, it's, it's very important. So, what did you guys want? Well, uh, we were wondering if, um, if you guys were hungry. Oh, food is, is it's the last thing on my mind. Yeah, I could care less if I ate or not. Guy. That's it. I'm laying down the law. <laughs> what law? This is my house, and in my house, everyone will eat. And no one will go to bed until they've had dinner. Am I right, Chad? Hey, you calling the shots, brother? Damn, skip it. Now, while Chad and I are preparing a fantastic dinner, you two ladies have to do something. What, do you want us to help you cook? No. No, 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 no. Look, I want you to go into the bedroom and look in the closet. You'll find some of my sister's dresses there. I want you to find something nice and wear it for dinner. Why, Ethan? What's the point? The point? What's the matter, Whitney? Come on, what, you afraid of getting dressed up and looking pretty? Yeah, why not, Whitney? I mean, it could help pass the time, and it might even be fun. Yeah, well, um, I'm not in the mood for fun. Oh, come on, let's try. Come on, I'll help you get dressed. All right, man, I don't know what. Now we make them laugh. Okay. Here, try this. <laughs> What's this, man? Check it out. <laughs> oh, come on, you gotta be kidding, man. Come on, oh, Jan. Man, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, all right. Oh, man. Hey, you don't look so bad. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> Check it out. Huh. And when I was a little kid, we used to get dressed up and do little shows for our family. And this is Mario. Tonight we are gonna be with us. And tonight we promise it's gonna be a night you remember for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> 